السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. رجع لي إذا ممكن تفوت. أحسنتم. السلام آه عليكم أيها الأخوة والأخوات. إن شاء الله آه راح نبتدأ بالبرنامج. محمد سماك إذا تحب تقدم آه قارئ القرآن. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على إشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين حبيب قلوب العالمين أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد وعلى أهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين اللهم صل على وآل محمد إن شاء الله we'll begin our program with the recitation of the Holy Quran with the, one of our special youth from our community brother Hassan Aziz Inshallah, he'll be reciting some uh, verses for all of us to enjoy. And after that, we, uh, Inshallah, will break down the agenda for what's going to be coming for our, uh, our program, Inshallah. So without further ado, please, everyone, please welcome Brother Hassan Aziz with a salawat ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Hayakallah Hassan, tafadda. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هل أتى على الإنسان حين من ال من التحري لم يكن شيئا مذكورا إن خلقنا الإنسان من نقفة أمشاج نبتني فجعلناه سميعا بصيرا إن هديناه السبيل إما شاكرا وإما كفورا إنا أعتدنا للكافرين سلاسل وأغلالا وسعيرا إن الأبعار يشربون من كأس كان ميزاجها كفورا عينا يشرب بها عباد الله يفجعونها تفجيرا يوفون بالنذر ويخافون يوما كان شره مستقيرا ويطعمون القعام على حب حبه مسكينا ويتيما وسيرا إنما نطعمكم لوجه 
لوجه الله لا نعد منكم جزاء ولا شكورا إنا نخاف من ربنا يوما عبو عبوسا قمطريرا فوقاهم الله شر ذلك اليوم ولقى ولقاهم نظرة وصعورا صدق الله العلي العظيم أحسنت أحسنت تفضل تفضل كمل continue go ahead خلصت خلصت أحسنت بارك الله فيك شكرا جزيلا يعطيك العافية بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والحمد لله رب العالمين وصل اللهم على محمد وآل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد السلام عليكم أيها الأخوة والأخوات ورحمة الله وبركاته جمعية الكوثر الإسلامية وأم واي أم نحييكم ونرحب بكم كما نزف إليكم أجمل التهاني والتبريكات لهذه الذكرى العطرة ذكرى ولادة مولاتنا وسيدتنا بضعة رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله فاطمة الزهراء عليها أفضل الصلاة والسلام كما نرفع تبريكاتنا إلى سيدنا ومولانا صاحب العصر والزمان نسأل الله العلي القدير أن يرزقنا شفاعتها في يوم الورود الأخوة والأخوات الأعزاء برنامجنا لهذه الليلة وبرنامج حقيقة إن شاء الله سيكون يعني منوع وإن شاء الله يعجبكم راح يكون برنامجنا اليوم عربي إنجليزي كوكتيل اليوم فالبرنامج راح يكون مشترك مع الشباب أم واي أم فإن شاء الله يكون تجربة ناجحة ونستمر فيها هي تجربة اليوت هم بعد معروفين لتبنيهم الشباب وبرنامجهم الإنجليزي والهدف واحد هو تقديم الخدمات لجاليتنا ولشبابنا إن شاء الله للثقافة الدينية والترفيهية والثقافية نسأل الله التوفيق إن شاء الله والاستمرار لخدمة هذه الجالية وخدمة الدين بإذنه تعالى إن شاء الله برنامجنا راح يكون منوع الليلة طبعا عندنا محاضرة سماحة السيد صالح الغزويني وعندنا مسابقات عربي وإنجليزي وجوائز وجوائز وغصائد وإن شاء الله راح يكون برنامج مميز ويعجبكم إن شاء الله نبدأ من إن شاء الله أخ محمد سماكي راح يكون الهوست بالنسبة للإنجليزي والشباب فنحيي بالصلاة على محمد وآل محمد فضل أخ محمد اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد نشكركم أخ جعفر uh, Thank you so much for that introduction uh, بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين حبيب قلوب العالمين أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد الله صل على محمد وآل محمد وعلى أهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome everyone to a very special program that we've planned uh, with uh, I'd like to thank Al-Kawthar Association for accepting our invitation to host this program together and to celebrate one of the grandest and most holy of days for the the woman the grandest and most adored woman of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his holy prophet Sayyidati Nisa al-Alameen my my great grandmother uh, Fatima al-Zahra alayha afwal salatu wa salam Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad uh, on occasion like this, it's great to see all the brothers and sisters come together 
to celebrate and uh, to enjoy each other's company. We have a very wonderful program planned for you, inshallah, by I'm a Muslim Youth in Motion and Al Kothar Association. Uh, inshallah, we we heard from uh, Brother Hassan Aziz with a wonderful Quran recitation. It's always so wonderful to see the youth uh, taking care of their Quran, making sure it's an important part of their life, uh, reading it, listening to it, practicing it. And uh, I'd like to say to Hassan, good job, keep going, and we're very very proud of you. We have a very exciting program, inshallah, with a very, very special guest all the way from the other side of the country. He's actually not too far away from me because I'm in Regina, Saskatchewan, in Canada. So I'm about halfway. Um, it's just clicking uh, over 10, 10, 15 p.m. here. Uh, and to him, it's, I guess it's 11, almost 11, 15. Um, and... Uh, after uh, we have the wonderful um, interaction and lecture by Sayyid Saleh, we're going to Sayyid Saleh al Qazwini. Uh, we're going to, uh, inshallah, hear from uh, and enjoy a recitation, Nasheed, by Brother Mustafa Jum'ah, uh, Mullah Mustafa Jum'ah. After that, uh, we will have a round of uh, 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 a game that Brother Ali Samak and Brother Ja'far have prepared for everyone. And after that, inshallah, uh, we will conclude our programs with the du'as, inshallah. So um, without further ado, I would like to introduce a very, very special friend of mine, Sayyid Saleh al-Qazwini. He hails from a prominent religious family from Iraq. He immigrated to the United States with his parents in 1994. After completing high school in San Diego, Sayyid, uh, Sayyid Saleh al-Qazwini moved to Iran where he studied in the Islamic Seminary of Qum. His studies focused primarily on Islamic jurisprudence and Islamic scripture. After completing his studies, he returned to the United States and acquired a bachelor's degree in sociology from the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor and a master's degree in Near Eastern Studies from Wayne State University. Currently, he lectures weekly at several mosques and community centers in Michigan. He travels to numerous communities across the globe, spreading the message of Islam and religious tolerance. Sayyid Saleh Qazwini also teaches courses on Islamic ideology and Quranic studies. And he'd also like you to know that he is married and he has three very wonderful, beautiful children. Sayyid Saleh Al Qazwini, Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Alaikum Assalam wa Rahmatullah, dear brother Muhammad, and to all of the uh, wonderful community in Vancouver. It's very good to see you, Sayyid Saleh. It's been a long time. Uh, we've been trying to plan something to coordinate with each other for a very long time. I know you're very busy. Mashallah, you're very active uh, during uh, the last year. Um, everything has moved online, majority anyways. Uh, but it's great to see that, you know, the ulama are still very active. Um, their their presence is definitely felt, and it's very much needed, uh, especially in the last year and and during these difficult times that we're going through. So we thank you and we welcome you to our program, and we're very excited to have you, and we're honored for you to join us, inshallah, tonight. Thank you very much, dear brother. It's my honor to be with you, and the uh, community in Vancouver is a very wonderful community. I've had wonderful experiences with all of you. And um, it's always, I always, you know, miss the community there. So Alhamdulillah, thank you for giving me the honor to be with you. And even though we're not with you physically, but we could at least see some of the faces. Of course, of course. No, it's, this is, this is, this is making my night. Uh, just seeing you and every, every week, every opportunity we get, um, it seems like, it's becoming more more difficult. It's by becoming more fatiguing, almost to be on Zoom. But programs like these make it so so wonderful um, to to see everyone. Sayyid Saleh, uh, inshallah. Before we begin, we started this segment at Muslim Youth in Motion, and we call it "Get to Know the Alim." Mm. So, if you don't mind, uh, we have a few questions before you begin your lecture, um, just to try to get a little bit uh, an insight 
into um, what shaped you to who you are today. And uh, maybe uh, we'll have a little bit of fun as well. If you like it, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Inshallah. I know with Muhammad, he always, you know, <laughs> scares me with some questions. It's okay. <laughs> well, but you have, you have right, you don't answer if you don't. <laughs> no, Alhamdulillah, we're brothers. Inshallah. So, Sayyid Saleh, um, a lot of people wonder and uh, they're very curious about ulama and, you know, how you chose to pursue that path. It's very, you know, to a lot of us, uh, it's a very foreign way to go and, and live your life. Uh, most of us, you know, we go to school, then we go to university, we get a degree, we get a job, and then we, you know, settle down, have a family, and then continue with our lives. But when we see a alim, a lot of us are confused. What path did they take to get there? So that's my question to you. How did you decide that you were going to become a student of the Hausa? I think um, the biggest contributing factor is that I come from a family of scholars, my father and my grandfather. And as, for as long as I can remember, my grandfathers have all been in service of the faith and Mubalagheen. Early on, they're mujtahids, maraja. So this is the influence that I've had growing up ever since I was you know, a young child. But then I also, being that I was raised in the United States, I saw that there was an absence, a void of um, scholars or individuals who could relate with the community, who could relate with the youth, and who could answer some of these simple questions that they didn't have an answer to with regards to their faith, with regards to their religion. So that motivated me to go and seek knowledge and increase my knowledge because people were asking me questions and being that I, you know, my father or my grandfather or my uncles, they were asking me questions, but I wasn't able to answer because I hadn't pursued the knowledge. So that pursued me and encouraged me to move to the Islamic seminary of Qom in Iran. And Alhamdulillah, it's been a wonderful journey ever since. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So you, you, your, your path was a little bit easier um, from, I guess it was more paved for you, right? Yeah. Um, and it's, you know, following the family tradition was an important thing for you. But the struggle, I mean, for anyone who is pursuing the knowledge, the challenges and the struggles are different. My father and my uncles, they lived in a time where pursuing the Hausa studies were much more different and difficult probably than the time that we were in the, in the Islamic seminary. My grandfather's time was also very much different and a lot more difficult. So each, each time is different. But yes, alhamdulillah, we, I had individuals to look up to, to tell me what courses to take, wh which path to take and who to study under um, because of, you know, because a lot of the scholars, they probably, you know, knew my my family so they were willing to give me private courses and teach and yeah so it did help yes alhamdulillah but uh, say they, are you interested for that or they because of the family no it was something that i took on and it was something that i'm even until now it's it's all that interests me you know even when i did when i pursued my academic studies um degree in sociology or uh, my master's all my focus on was on the Islamic aspect of it. So it's something that I find, you know, I, I have a passion for. And that's what I tell a lot of my, you know, my friends, my brothers and sisters, do something that you have a passion for. Find something, don't only focus on money, don't only focus on, you know, the car that you're driving, the house that you're having. Because if you don't enjoy what you do, if it doesn't give you, you know, if it doesn't give you that spiritual satisfaction, that emotional, psychological satisfaction, then even if you're making money, you're not going to enjoy it. Do something that you enjoy. Do something that you have a passion for. And every single one of us, we have passions. We just need to discover what that passion is. 
Sorry, sorry, Satan. I didn't mean to to say like uh, that your path was easy or anything like that. No, no, uh, of course, yes. I, uh, of course, I understand. You know the struggles of you know. I to me, it's like completely, you know, the the most brave and courageous thing you can do. Move to the other side of the world. You know, in a foreign place where you don't really know. You know how to. They live their lives much differently uh, than we do here. And there's daily struggles, you know, like uh, electricity or, you know, like uh, the language. I was living in San Diego. There aren't, there yeah. aren't many cities that are more beautiful than Vancouver, but I would say San Diego is. So no offense up, to all, the, right? all those <laughs> living in Vancouver. We can, we can, definitely, we can definitely have a, a debate on a different day for that. Maybe, for sure. maybe, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, we definitely see um, that you do enjoy your work. You do. You are very passionate about it uh, and uh, it really it really shows um, with with who you are and how you um, communicate to the communities so uh, we I, I really like you to know that um, thank you uh, Saidna okay what are some of the perks then would you say as having of of being a alim I mean Generally, alhamdulillah, it comes with the respect of the communities. Of course, you have to put yourself in a in a good position to be respected. Any this, you know, any anything that you do, if you put yourself in a in a community or in a group of people that aren't going to respect you, then you're not going to have respect. Alhamdulillah, you know, I am dealing with the people I interact with are mu'mineen, people that go to the masjid, people that attend du'a kumail people that, you know, are interested and they also have a passion. You don't have to be a religious scholar or someone who has is wearing a amama and, and the uniform to have a passion for Islamic studies. Alhamdulillah, you, you, you and the brothers and sisters in the, in the, um, in the MYM, I've, I've seen that in you and I felt that. So you don't have to be doing exactly what I am doing to have that passion. And people could serve Islam in different ways. But one of the perks is the respect, alhamdulillah. And that's something that we, I know, I believe that it's not, you know, it's, it comes, I have to respect the uniform and it has also given me that respect. Alhamdulillah. Wow, well, that's from the barakah of Imam al Hussein as well. Alhamdulillah. This is, this is the, the best uniform and the best respect that you could, you could get. Actually, you know, most people we put on a tie and we feel like, you know, we're, you know, or, you know, as a pilot, I put on the tie, put on the bars, you feel like, oh, yeah, I'm something. But uh, truly to be to be someone or something is to be a, a servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Ahlul Bayt. Yes. And of course, like I said, you could be a servant of God and the Ahlul Bayt in any way. In a tie, you could do it as well. It just That's depends true. on what you're focused on and who you're planning on. You know, each, each one of us were gifted in a way where we're able to guide other people you could probably you know you're you're in a, you're a pilot you're talking to someone you meet someone in your travels and you could probably change their life so anyone you know every one of us we have that responsibility of trying to do tabligh in any way possible alhamdulillah inshallah um sayyidna my next question to you is um do you have any exciting hobbies what do you do in your spare time so I'm, I spend time with my family. That's something that is, you know, is very enjoyable for me with my children, with the family. I like to read and I'm always doing research because, you know, especially with this pandemic, I've been doing, as you, you know, I've been doing, you know, tafsir one night a week. I've been doing Nahj al one night a week. I've been doing lectures. So these lectures, they require reading and they require uh, research. So I always enjoy, you know, doing new research, learning new things. And there's always, there's always something to learn, mainly focused in the Islamic studies and Islamic history and, and, that, and that field. And a third thing, which I'm sure we all do and you get to do a lot of, or we all miss, but we, you get to do a lot of is traveling, right? Yes. Uh, we all love traveling. I love it as well. And I like to travel to the visit the you know the maqamat of the ahl al-bayt the shrines um i took i i went to umrah several times hajj and ziyara so now it's been due to the pandemic we haven't been doing that but inshallah we ask allah to 
open the path once again. Maybe he and asked for uh, another hobby, like you mean sport or something like tomorrow Super Bowl. You watching this? <laughs> I don't <laughs> even know what the Super Bowl is going to be. I was, <laughs> I'm really, I, I've been hearing about it. So I was going to Google when is the Super Bowl, but you just told me it's tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> um, Saidna, if you um, would just like to ask these questions just to get to know you a little bit better. Um, if you had to pick someone who's your hero, you would say, um, or someone who's inspired you, who would it be? And it can't be any of the Maksumin or their family members. <laughs> Um, I would say, and I've always had this, you know, in my mind, I would say my grandfather, Ayatollah Sayyid Murtad al-Fazwini. Am I allowed to say that? Sure. Yes, of course. Okay. Um, yes, because I've seen in him a very, you know, inspiring figure, a hard worker, someone who's dedicated to serve Islam and someone who puts himself and his own comfort, you know, he takes away from his own comfort and from his own rest to propagate the message of the Ahlul Bayt, to propagate the message of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. And ever since I've opened my eyes, ever since I've you know, known him, I've seen him to be an extremely hard worker and extremely dedicated and he's mission driven. He's not, you know, a lot of people, they probably have fame and they're looking for recognition and all of that. But I did not see that in him. I didn't see in him someone who's looking for fame, looking for personal recognition, except that he just wants to grow the message and the, you know, the message of Islam and especially the message of the Ahl Bayt. He so is, he is. Allah ta'ala b'amr, inshallah. May Allah prolong his life, inshallah. Um, uh, I, I guess you, you kind of already answered this, but I like to ask this. Um, if you had to choose any place you could live in the world, where would it be? Vancouver. <laughs> that would be a very nice place to be. That would be a very nice place to be. You have the beautiful weather and everything. Um, I would, before, I, I had the mindset of being somewhere where it's very comfortable, being somewhere that is very beautiful. But now, you know, I've come to the, after, you know, sitting and thinking about this, um, I've come to see that I want to be in a place where I am able to serve Islam and serve the Muslim community to the highest potential. Now, maybe I would have to, you know, not be in a very beautiful place or a place with very nice weather. Or maybe I can't be in Karbala or Najaf or Qom because that is also somewhere where the heart always wants to be. But you have to put yourself in a position, in a place where you are able to be as productive as possible because this life is only so long. And at the end of the day, you're going to be asked, what did you com contribute? What did you do? So Alhamdulillah, with the internet right now, it seems like you could be anywhere. Anywhere, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but after the pandemic, we'll see where things go. Okay, let's say this condition exists anywhere in the world. You'll be able to serve the, equally the same. Where would it be? I where would, would you... Karbala. 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 Yes. Okay. But yeah. Karbala, okay. Sayyidna, like, too many alim there to serve the Islam. <laughs> no, but you somewhere he, said else. You could, <laughs> he said you could serve anywhere. So <laughs> if you can serve anywhere, yes, it's Karbala. But yes, because... As you said, right now, you know, there's my, my main audience is the English speaking, the younger generation. So we don't have that in Karbala. So if, if that were the, to be the case, then I think we would all want to be in Karbala. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. That, so. that is true. <clears throat> okay, Sayyidna, thank you so much um, for, for um, giving us the opportunity to get, get to know you a little bit. Now we're going to have a little bit of fun. Uh, this segment I like to call this or that. Um, I played it with a with a few other um, guests that we've had, and um, they've they've had some fun with it. Uh, so so here we go. Okay, you ready? All right. Nice All right. So iPhone or Samsung? iPhone 12, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. That's Was fair. That's fair. Uh, Xbox or PlayStation? 
my son has a PlayStation. I don't play, but yes, PlayStation. I think that's a win. That's a win. Okay. Uh, pizza or burgers? Burgers, probably. Burgers, nice. Okay. That's a win in my books for sure. All right. Uh, Kobe Bryant or Michael Jordan? Kobe Bryant. All right. West Coast. Um, let's see if you, if you know what I'm talking about. Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter? Lord of the Rings. Yeah? No, okay. I mean, if I have to pick, I'll pick Lord of the Rings. Okay. Okay. It's just, there's a lot more reading. So, yes. you know, that's, that's, I guess you enjoy reading. So um, that's okay for you. Um, sweet or so savory? Sweet. Oh, you have a sweet tooth. Wow. Okay. Well, what's your favorite dessert, let's say? I like the Middle Eastern desserts. Like the, okay. if you've been here to uh, Dearborn. Oh, you yeah. have some of the flour and the shatila and all of that stuff. Oh. Yeah. All the Lebanese shops. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have much of that here, unfortunately. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you guys are very... <laughs> Very lucky in Dearborn. <laughs> um, okay. Um, going out or staying in? Going out. Yeah. Depends. I mean, sometimes you just want to stay in. I This quarantine didn't bother me. I was, I mean, it just, oh, wow. I was just, it didn't really bother me that much. But if you have the opportunity to go out and the weather is nice, right now outside it's 17 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's like minus eight uh, what, in Celsius. I don't know, 17, yeah. I'd have to look it up. It's really cold outside. So now I would rather stay indoors. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. But if we go to Vancouver, then I would be outside. You would be outside. It's more like to get a sense if you're like, uh, you know, introvert or extrovert. You know what I mean? I'm probably in between more towards extrovert. Okay. Yeah, okay. I like to socialize. I'm going to go with the, what you said first, which is go out. Which, okay. You know, Good. I, yeah. I know when, when, when we bring you to Vancouver, you love to go out with us, with the Shabab. We have a good time. If you, um, if, we'll keep yeah, the go ahead. later. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I mean, if the food was healthy, then yeah. If you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> healthy and halal. Um, yes, of course. <laughs> All right. What's, what's less favorable? Laundry or dishes? Um... Less or more favorable? Less favorable Less, to you. I would say laundry. Less. Okay, the laundry's. Oh wow, really? Yeah. A lot of people go with the dishes. Me personally, dishes. I give me anything, but don't make me wash the dishes. Honestly. Um. But uh, I can see that. I can see that. All right. Um. I guess this is a this is an important question. Theme. Or Sebzi? Um, probably Sebzi. Sebzi, oh, okay. Okay, I think a lot of people are gonna be upset. Uh, coffee or hot chocolate? Chai. Chai, okay, I like that. Texting friends or calling friends? Texting. Texting? Yeah. Oh man, you know, the times of calling friends is gone. Even my generation, not you, the well, people, everybody's, okay. nobody likes to call anymore. It's just a lot quicker. And some people like to send voice notes. I like to send voice notes. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you get a lot from me, huh? Uh, summer or winter? Always a blessing. Naam? Summer or winter? Summer, of course. Okay. If you have winters uh, like ours, you'll definitely want summer. Oh, definitely. Uh, chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate. Nice. Um, cola or Sprite? Um, cola. Cola? Okay. Steak or chicken? Steak. Steak? How about you, uh, Abu Sadiq? Steak or chicken? Chicken. Chicken. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, all right, what's, me steak, not both. I don't know. 
No, no, I don't like this mixing meat thing. When you, you know, when you go to a shawarma place and they say, oh, you know, both, I'm like, you either got to choose like beef or chicken. You can't put them both in the sandwich. This makes sense to me. It makes sense, yeah. Um, Instagram or Twitter? Um, I was more towards Twitter. Now I see Instagram's getting a lot more, um, you know, it's picking up. So I have both. Both are good. Okay. Um, do you like the Red Wings? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really. I don't know a lot about, you know, the Red Wings. <laughs> You like you like hot wings, buffalo wings. Yeah, not the red wings. Barbecue wings. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I'm familiar with. All right, I think this is the most important question, um, and it's it's our it's our final question, which is Ronaldo or Messi. Again. Again. <laughs> I would say Ronaldo probably. Allahu Akbar. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. Say it, man. You know, you know that. That's what he said. Time. <laughs> no, no, you're gonna make you're gonna make most of the Iraqi here in communities mad. <laughs> oh, really? They're all Messi fans? No, no, no. Don't worry about him. No, it's pre-split. It's pre-split. <laughs> um, okay, that we have to ask you this: Who's gonna win the Super Bowl tomorrow? We need prediction. Tell me who's playing. I'll tell. I'll guess. Uh, we have, <laughs> we have, we have Pat Mahomes with with the Chiefs. And we have Tom Brady with the Buccaneers. Tom Brady's with the Buccaneers now? <laughs> yeah, that happened too. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. He was with the Patriots or something. Yeah, he was for a long time. We'll just go with the name that we all, you know, we keep hearing about, Tom Brady. Tom Brady? Uh man. Okay, we hope you're wrong. This, this, uh... It won't hurt me if I'm wrong, don't worry. No, it won't. No, it won't. It would be good. <laughs> um, thank you so much, uh, Sayyid Saleh. We had a lot of fun. Thank you for participating. You're a great, you're a great participant, a great sport. Um, thank you for giving us the opportunity to see, you know, uh, into your mind, I guess, a little bit and get to know you. Um, inshallah, we'll have many more chances in the future. Uh, so with that, without further ado, I'd like to introduce our guest speaker for the night. Sayyid Salih Qazwini, please welcome him with a salawat ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Allah. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Should we yeah. begin? Go ahead. The floor is yours. Ahsantu. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafil anbiya'i wal mursaleen. حبيب إله العالمين أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد وعلى أهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين الذين أذهب الله عنهم الرجس وطهرهم تطهيرا اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد قال الله تعالى في كتابه الكريم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وإذا بشر أحدهم بالأنثى ظل وجهه مسودا وهو كظيم يتوارى من القوم من سوء ما بشر به أيمسكه على هون أم يدسه في التراب ألا ساء ما يحكمون Respected brothers and sisters, once again, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh And I would like to begin by congratulating you all on the auspicious birth of the Lady of Light, Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam the daughter of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, the wife of Amir al-Mu'mineen, and the mother of the imams, the infallibles, the mother of Imam al-Hasan and Imam al Hussein. The birth of Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam is a very significant and very important event in the life of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, and it is also significant in the life of Muslims. All of us Muslims, we have a duty, we have an obligation to show love to the Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, he tells the Muslims, all I'm leaving behind is the Quran and the Ahlul Bayt. Show love to my Ahlul Bayt. 
the, the Quran asks the Muslims to show love to the Ahlul Bayt alayhum salam. قُلْ لَا أَسْأَلُكُمْ عَلَيْهِ أَجْرًا إِلَّا الْمَوَدَّةَ فِي الْقُرْبَى So the birth of Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam, who, the, she is the one who brings the Ahlul Bayt together. Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam, she's the connection. She's the bond between prophethood and imamah. So if it was not for Fatima, there would be no Ahlul Bayt. This is why Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam, she is considered to be the greatest gift that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gifted his great prophet Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. She was a gift from the heavens. She was a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. In a time, in an atmosphere, in a society that looked down upon women, Allah gifted Rasulullah a daughter. And what kind of a daughter was she? She was a daughter that fulfilled the message of her father, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. A daughter that fulfilled the legacy of her father, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. And she was a gift from Allah to the Prophet. This is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna a'tayna kal kawthar. Verily, we have given you the kawthar. And here, scholars, Sunni and Shia scholars, they say that al-Kawthar has several meanings. One of the apparent meanings is the pond of Kawthar in paradise, Hawd al-Kawthar. That is an apparent tafsir, but the deeper meaning is the khayr al-Kathir, the abundance of khayr, the abundance of good that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi and that was given to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, that is Fatima alayhi salam. Because the progeny and the children and the remembrance of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi is only through his daughter Fatima. You know, Rasulullah had wives. Rasulullah had many women in his life. None of them had surviving children. Others, they didn't even get pregnant. Those who did get pregnant, their children did not survive except through Khadija, the, and their daughter is Fatima, and the children of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, the durriya, the progeny of Rasulullah, is only through Fatima al-Zahra and the Amir al-Mu'mineen. This is why Rasulullah says, durriyati min sulbi aliyin wa rahimi Fatima. My progeny are from the loins of Ali and the womb of Fatima. She was a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to Rasulullah. Today, until now, there are millions who are proud to say we are the children and the descendants of Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam. There were governments that were established in the name of Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam, the Fatimi government. There were, there were many who came to power in the name of Fatima al-Zahra. Why? Because this is an honorable lineage, the lineage that continues and it goes all the way to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. So Allah tells the Prophet, This word, أعطيناك, or يعطي, is mentioned in another place in the Quran. And that is when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promises Rasulullah another very great gift. And that is the maqam al-shafa'a. Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells the Prophet, وَلَسَوْفَ يُعْطِيكَ رَبُّكَ فَتَرْضَى Your Lord will keep giving you until you are satisfied. And here in this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّا أَعْطَيْنَاكَ الْكَوْثَرِ We have verily given you the kawthar. So Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam is the greatest gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. And Rasulullah regarded her as a gift from Allah. This is why Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, he showed love to Fatima in a society, in a time that a husband or a father was embarrassed to show love to his daughter or to his wife. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, publicly, he would go out in front of the Muslims and he would mention the name of Fatima, his daughter Fatima while others were embarrassed to say the names of their daughters, while others were embarrassed that they had daughters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes this in the Quran. Before Islam, 
وإذا بشر أحدهم بالأنثى ظل وجهه مسودا وهو كظيم When one of them, they give them good news that your wife gave birth to a girl, what would they do? ظل وجهه مسودا His face would turn dark out of shame وهو كظيم And they would become sad يتوارى من القوم من سوء ما بشر من they would go and they would, he would hide himself from the people because of the bad news that he received. Should he hold her and keep her alive with shame or should he bury her in the soil? And this is something that they used to do. What? They used to bury the daughters alive. Allah talks about it in the Quran. They would come and they would bury their daughters alive. You know, this is something that we think about is so cruel. How could anyone do that? Unfortunately, it's still going on today. Today with um, abortion and doing that. Now, sometimes it's, it's, there are some exceptions, but many times, no. Because some people, they just don't want to, they don't want to, you know, have anyone tell them what to do. They don't want to abide by any laws and therefore go and take away a soul. So here... Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi in a society that looked down upon women, in a society that neglected women and, and took away the rights of women, Rasulullah was very proud that he has a daughter, Fatima. إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَرْضَى لِرِضَى فَاطِمَةَ وَيَغْضَبُ لِغَضَبِهَا God is satisfied by the satisfaction of Fatima and God is angered by the anger of Fatima. Fatima بَضْعَةٌ مِنِّي Fatima is a piece of my flesh. Fatima is a piece of me. Anything that bothers her, bothers me. Fatima Fatima is the joy of my eyes. And her children, her sons, they are the fruits of my heart. This is what Rasulullah would say about Fatima to Zahra This is why today... Even Bukhari, who doesn't narrate many ahadith in praise of the Ahlul Bayt, السلام, he mentions this hadith. God is satisfied by the satisfaction of Fatima, and God is angered by the anger of Fatima. This was Fatima to Zahra. السلام. This was the daughter of Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, a lady who reached the ultimate heights and the ultimate position that a person could reach. Where Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, one day Ibn Abbas, he says, Rasulullah, he drew four lines in the sand and he says, Sayyidatu Nisa'i Ahlil Jannah Arba'ah. The leaders of the women of paradise are four. And then he says, Asiya bintu Muzahim, wa Maryam ibnatu Imran, wa Khadija bintu Khuwaylid, wa Fatima bintu Muhammad. He says the leaders of the women of paradise are four. Asiya, the wife of Pharaoh. Maryam, the mother of Jesus. Khadija bint Khuwaylid, the wife of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, and the mother of Fatima and Fatima to Zahra. And then in the Shi'i version of the hadith, it says that Fatima to Zahra is the greatest of all of them. Fatima to Zahra was so great. She is the leader of the women of the world. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi tells her, Anti sayyidatu nisa'il alameen min al-awwalina wal akhirin. You are the leader of all of the women of the world. What does this mean? This means that Fatima al-Zahra is a role model. Fatima al-Zahra is a role model not only for the women. Fatima al-Zahra is a role model for men as well. Because Fatima was great. Not just because of her being a daughter or her being a wife, or her being a mother. Today, some, they come and they confine the roles of a lady in these three roles. She's either a daughter, or a wife, or a mother. And that's how they look at it. They say Fatima is great because she's the daughter of Rasulullah. Fatima is great because she's the wife of Amir al-Mu'mineen. Fatima is, is great because she's the mother of Imam al-Hassan and Imam Hussein. And these are things that make her very great but Fatima al-Zahra is not only great because of these three reasons. Today, some, they come and they say, anyone who is attached to the Prophet, the wives of the Prophet, just because they were the wives of the Prophet, 
Some Muslims, they come and they revere them. Even though some of their actions, some of the things that they did went against the teachings and principles of the Prophet. Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam, not a single second of her life did she go against the principles and the values of Islam. This is why Fatima is a role model. This is why Fatima al-Zahra is a role model and we all, every single Muslim has to show love and affection and mawadda to the Ahlul Bayt alayhum salam. Because Fatima was great, not only because she was the daughter of the Prophet or the wife of Imam Ali or the mother of Imam Hassan and Imam Hussein. Right now, they say Maryam, Maryam ibn Imran, she's great. Why? Because she was the mother of Jesus. That's what makes her great in the eyes of many. Of course, Maryam was pure. Maryam was purified by Allah. This is what we have to look at. Not only because she was the mother of Jesus. Similarly, Fatima al-Zahra, not just because she was the, the daughter and the wife and a mother that makes her great. Fatima al-Zahra, she was a scholar in herself. Fatima al-Zahra, she was a muhaddatha, meaning that the angels used to speak to Fatima a.s. Fatima al-Zahra is an example when it comes to worship and obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. She's an example, a role model of purity. She's a role model when it comes to giving and philanthropy. And also when it comes to jihad and speaking truth to power, Fatima al-Zahra was great. These are the great aspects of Fatima al-Zahra. And this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala purified her. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala purified her in the Quran. She is a part of the Ahlul Bayt. Today, ask the Muslims, who are the Ahlul Bayt? They will tell you the Ahlul Bayt are Rasulullah, Imam Ali, Fatima al-Zahra, Imam al-Hassan, and Imam al-Hussein. Even the Sunni Muslims, the majority of them, they say the wives of the Prophet are not included in the Ahlul Bayt. How is Fatima a part of the Ahlul Bayt? What did she do that made her be a part of that group of people that are purified by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran. What did she do that Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam became Sayyidat Nisa al-Alameen? The answer is her greatness. She was great in every aspect of her life. When it came to her giving, when it came to her sadaqah, when it came to her infaq, her giving in the way of Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the giving of the Ahlul Bayt. And Fatima was one of those. وَيُطْعِمُونَ الطَّعَامَ عَلَىٰ حُبِّهِ مِسْكِينًا وَيَتِيمًا وَأَسِيرًا إِنَّمَا نُطْعِمُكُمْ لِوَجْهِ اللَّهِ لَا نُرِيدُ مِنْكُمْ جَزَاءً وَلَا شُكُورًا They gave away for three days. They sleep hungry and they give the food. They give it. It's easy, my dear brothers and sisters, to come and say something like this. But when it comes to action, giving is not easy. Giving is one of the most difficult things for people, to come and give something that you like. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in another verse describes the giving of the Ahlul Bayt. They come and they give, even if that were to be taking away something from themselves. Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam, she gave many times in her life. One day Imam al-Hassan alayhi salam, he sees his mother Fatima cleaning a dirham, a silver dirham, a silver coin. She's shining it. She's, she's cleaning it. So he asks her, Umma, oh mother, what are you doing? You're sitting and you're cleaning a coin. You know, a coin when it's used a lot, it gets dirty. She tells him, yes, oh my dear son, I have made a vow to give this coin as a sadaqah in the way of God. And I want to give something that is pure. I want to give something that is clean. So therefore, even this coin, I'm cleaning it because the sadaqah, it doesn't, before it falls in the hands of the poor person, it falls in the hands of God. And we have a hadith about this, that when you give a sadaqah, it's actually God that's taking it. Don't look at this person. A lot of us we come and we make excuses. Oh, I'm not giving this person. I'm not giving this person. If someone is in need, if someone is asking you, give them. Even if this person, you might not agree with them. The Ahlul Bayt, السلام, when they gave, The first day was a poor person. The second day, an orphan. 
The third day, a prisoner, a seer, a prisoner of war, they came and they gave him. Why? Because every person deserves to eat. Every person deserves to have the basic sustenance that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised for everyone. So Fatima al-Zahra, she goes and she cleans that coin and then she gives it. We all know the story of her wedding day where she has two outfits. She has the old outfit and a new outfit. Fatima al-Zahra, alayhi salam, she goes, a lady comes and knocks on the door hours before the wedding. Fatima al-Zahra, she goes and she takes the new outfit and she gives it to that lady. Rasulullah sees her later. He tells her, oh Fatima, what have you done? She tells him, ya Rasulullah, Oh, Father, I read the Quran. لَقَدْ قَرَأْتُ Quran, And I saw that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, لَن تَنَالُوا الْبِرُ حَتَّى تُنْفِقُوا مِمَّا تُحِبُّونَ You will not seek righteousness until you give that from what you like. And that was the dress that I like. That's why I gave it in the way of Allah. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, when we, many of us, when we want to give something, we give something that we don't need anymore, something that's junk, something that's, you know, it's secondhand. We're not using it anymore. Fatima al Zahra and the Al-Bayt, they teach us to give that which we love because we're giving it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is a great example that we all are in need of today, an example from Fatima al Zahra alayhi salam. Fatima al Zahra is an example when it came to spirituality when it came to being connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In her worship, in her ibadah, she used to worship all night and all day. She used to spend her time worshiping. One of the reasons why her name is Zahra, the Imam says, إِنَّمَا سُمِّيَتْ زَهْرَاء لِأَنَّهَا كَانَتْ تَزْهَرْ لِأَهْلِ السَّمَاءِ كَمَا تَزْهُرُ الْكَوَاكِبْ لِأَهْلِ الْأَرْضِ she used to bloom. She used to illuminate the same way the stars illuminate for those on earth. Why? When she used to enter into her mihrab, that's when the light would come out of her face. That's when light would illuminate from the face of Lady Fatima alayhi There's a hadith from Aisha, the wife of the Prophet. She says, we used to be able to put the needle in the thread by the light of the face of Fatima. We used to be able to see and place the needle in the thread by the light of the face of Fatima. Noor. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives noor to the mu'mineen. Nooruhum yas'a min bayna aydihim. Allah gives noor. Allah gives a light, a special light to those believers. And Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam had that. This is why she was named as Zahra the blooming, the light, the illuminant one. Imam al-Hasan alayhi salam, he says, my mother would go in the mihrab and she would pray and pray and pray where I have not seen a person worship more than my mother Fatima. He says, ma ra'aytu a'bad min ummi Fatima. I have not seen anyone worship more than my mother Fatima. She used to go and stand, he says, on her Laylati Jum'atiha, on her Thursday night, Thursday going into the Friday, he says she used to stand in the mihrab until her feet would swell. And the whole night, I hear her praying for the neighbors, praying for this person and that person and that person. My dear brothers and sisters, the Ahl al-Bayt teach us that ibadah is not selfish. Some of us, ibadah is a selfish thing. Because many people, when you pray, you pray for yourself, you pray for your family, you pray for your loved ones. But the Ahl al-Bayt teach us that even in ibadah, even in worship, don't be selfish. Pray for others. This is why in Salat al-Layl, we have that it's mustahab to mention 40 names. 40 names of the believers. Allahumma ghfir li fulan. Oh Allah, answer the dua of this person and that person. Mention them. Every time you pray, mention other, a, a different group of people. Because the chances of the dua being accepted for yourself is much greater if you are praying for other people. This is We have many hadith that say, uh, if you want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept your dua for yourself, mention other people. Because Allah will say, this person is remembering other people, this person is thinking of other people, then therefore this person is worthy of their dua being answered. So Imam al-Hasan, he would tell his mother, 
He would tell her, oh, mother, I saw you praying and you mentioned the neighbors, this person and that person, but you never mentioned the family. She says, ya bunay, al jar, thumma dar. Oh, my dear son, we pray for the neighbor and then we pray for the house. And then we pray for the household. This is a very important lesson that we need to learn today. Today, we live in a time where everyone is thinking of themselves, me, me, me. Everyone's being selfish. No, let's think of other people. Let's think of the neighbors. Let's think of, you know, other people. The hadith says that, Amir al-Mu'mineen, he says, Rasulullah kana yuwassi bil jar hatta dhananna annahu yuwarrithuhum. He says, Rasulullah, he kept telling people, take care of your neighbors, take care of your neighbors, until we thought that maybe they actually inherit from a person when they die. This is Islam, my dear brothers and sisters. It tells us to think of people, to help others, to think of others. And even in your ibadah, think of others. This was Fatima alayhi salam. In her worship, she was so pure where when she would enter into her mihrab, she would enter the same way Maryam ibn Imran would enter into the mihrab. And the heaven and the and the angels would descend upon her from the heavens. Imam Sadiq alayhi salam, he says that Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam, after the death of Rasulullah, she remained for 75 days. And she became very sad that Jibra'il used to come down upon her. Jibra'il used to come down upon her and he used to speak to her. This is why one of the names of Fatima is what? Al-Muhaddatha. Muhaddatha means the one who was spoken to, meaning the angels would speak to her. This is why we have a book that is with the Imams by the name of Mus'haf Fatima. This is a book that is not the Quran. This is a book that the angel Jibra'il, he would inform her what will happen to her progeny and what will happen to her children and what will happen in the events in the future. He would tell her that, and she would dictate it to Amir al-Mu'mineen, and Amir al-Mu'mineen wrote it with his hands. And this is a book that is with the Imam, Mus'haf Fatima. She was the muhaddatha, the angels would speak to her the same way the angels would come down and descend upon Maryam ibn Imran. وَإِذْ قَالَتِ الْمَلَائِكَةُ يَا مَرْيَمْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ اصْطَفَاكِ وَطَهَّرَكِ Someone comes and says, no, but Rasulullah died. How could Jibra'il come down? How could a wahi revelation come down? Very common. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, وَأَوْحَيْنَا إِلَى nahl." We, we revealed unto the bee, وَأَوْحَيْنَا إِلَى أُمِّ مُوسَى The mother of Moses, she received the revelation. The angels came down upon Maryam ibn Imran. So is it difficult for the angels to come down Upon Rasulullah and the, and the daughter of Rasulullah? No. Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam is no greater than Maryam. So the angels would come down and they would speak to Fatima alayhi salam. And this is the height, the level of heights that Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam reached. Another very example from Fatima alayhi salam is her social justice, standing for social justice. Today, some have the idea that a lady if she has to wear hijab, if she has to be modest, then she has to be sitting in her home. She can't talk. She can't have an active role in the community and society. She can't enjoin the good and forbid the evil. Where did we get this from? This is cultures imposing on people, cultures imposing on women and on, and on Islam. T today, a lot of the bad, you know, bad press that Islam is getting and bad... Um, you know, Islam is being attacked and a lot of the misconceptions against Islam, they're not Islam, my dear brothers and sisters. It's because of cultures. We brought our cultures, our culture that looks down upon women. We brought our bad norms and cultures. We brought them down and they have, they have you know, they have changed the, the image of Islam. But if we want to look at the true image of Islam, go and look at the Ahlul Bayt Go and look at the women of the Ahlul Bayt who were not only empowered, but they also empowered Islam. They preserved Islam. They were not only preserved and given rights by Islam, but they saved Islam. They had a role in preserving the legacy of Rasulullah Khadija, 
Khadija, the mother of Fatima, if it was not for her, Islam would not have been where it is today. Fatima to Zahra, alayhi salam, if it was not for her, Islam would not be where it is today. And similarly, Sayyida Zainab, alayhi salam. Sayyida Zainab spoke out. Fatima to Zahra spoke out. They didn't remain silenced. Even though society and the norms and the cultures of society tried to silence them because they were, they were not accustomed to a woman speaking out against the injustice. They were burying the woman. Rasulullah came and gave rights to women. And the daughter of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa she came out and she exposed those who were doing injustice in the name of the Quran and in the name of the religion of Islam. She showed them. She came out and she spoke. Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam, she was not embarrassed to come out and speak. And this is the stance of social justice that we take from Fatima alayhi salam. Fatima al-Zahra, Allam al-Amini, in his book Al-Ghadir, he mentions that she had three attempts in saving the Imam of Amir al-Mu'mini and Khilafah of Amir al-Mu'mini. One day, she goes out, knocking on the doors of the Muhajireen and the Ansar with a broken rib, perhaps, going and reminding them of the bay'ah that they gave to Amir al-Mu'mini. Now someone could come and say, Fatima is a lady, she doesn't need to do that. But Fatima Zahra, she saw that she has a duty to defend the Imam of her time. Allah says in the Quran, وَالْمُؤْمِنُونَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَاتِ بَعْضُهُمْ أَوْلِيَاءُ بَعْضُ يَأْمُرُونَ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَيَنْهَوْنَ عَنِ الْمُلْكَرِ The duty of Amr bil Ma'roof in joining the good and forbidding the evil is not something that only the men have. Or not today, even some men, they say, no, let the Shaykh, let the Sayyid, let them do Amr bil Ma'roof. No. Amr bil Ma'roof is a Duty that every single one of us has, every single individual. So Fatima Zahra alayhi salam, she saw that she can't remain silent. She goes out and she knocks on the doors of the Muhajirin and Ansar with the best hijab and she reminds them of the bay'ah of Ghadir. Then she goes in the masjid of Rasulullah and she delivers that powerful sermon. And the third sermon she gave when the women of the Ansar and the Muhajirin, they came to visit her on her deathbed. She also spoke out and she defended and she stood for social justice. She did all of that while preserving her hijab, while preserving her modesty. She, became, she was a scholar. She was uh, a philanthropist. She was a seeker of justice. She was a, a person who, who had the, the, the highest of spirituality and then Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam, she also upheld her hijab. She also upheld her modesty. Even they talk about, when they, when they talk about the name of Fatima in her sermon, they, they describe her hijab. That the, the, say, the, the beginning of the, of the sermon says, لَمَّا أَجْمَعَ أَبُوْ بَكْرَ عَلَى مَنْعِ فَاطِمَةَ فَدَكَ وَبَلَغَهَا ذَلِكْ لَاثَتْ خِمَارَهَا عَلَى رَأْسِهَا She placed her khimar, her hijab, on her head, which tamalat bi jilbabiha. Jilbab is the loose garment. Khimar is the hijab, and the jilbab is the loose garment. Which tamalat bi jilbabiha, wa akbalat fi lummatin min hafadatiha wa nisa'i qawmiha tata'u dhuyulaha. When she was walking, her abaya, her garment was dragging on the ground. Tata'u dhuyulaha, ma takhrimu mishyataha, mishyata rasulillah. Even in her walk, she would walk like her father, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, hatta aqbalat ala Abi Bakr, wa huwa fi hashdin min al-muhajireen wa al-ansari wa ghayrihim, fanitat dunaha mula'ah. Then they place a partition out of respect for Fatima. She sat down and she began to deliver the sermon. Even when they talk about the sermon, they, de they describe the hijab of Fatima. Today, some people, they come and they say, no, if I want to be successful, if I want to have a job, if I want to get accepted, then I have to take off my hijab. I have to show my body. I have to do this and that. Now, yes, as a man, I'm in no position to come and say that the hijab is, is not difficult. It's not a jihad. It's not a struggle. Rasulullah acknowledged that it's a struggle. Rasulullah, when the, when the Muslim men, they were going out to war, some of the women, they wanted to come and join him. Rasulullah, he tells them, your jihad is to preserve your modesty. Your jihad is your hijab. Rasulullah tells them that that's your struggle. That's your jihad. And it is a struggle. 
So it's no man is in any position to come and say, no, hijab is not difficult. It's difficult. It's difficult. And a lady who practices hijab in the best way possible is great in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is a difficult challenge. We are in no position to come and say it's not difficult, but the reward is also great. The reward in this life and the reward in the akhirah. Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam, she did all of that while preserving her hijab. And this is why she's a, an example for men and women specifically that you could reach the ultimate greatness while preserving modesty, while preserving your hijab, while fulfilling your obligation towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, your obligation towards your community, while fulfilling your obligation towards society. Fatima Zahra, she, did, she fulfilled her obligation towards everyone, her, her neighbors, the Muslim community, her husband, her children, her father, everyone was pleased with her. Rasulullah, he was very pleased with her. Imam al-Hassan and Imam al-Hussein, she was the best mother to them. She inspired them, she taught them, she raised them. And Amir al-Mu'mineen Ali ibn Abi Talib, he would remember Fatima. He would remember her 30 years later. Many years later, he would still remember Fatima to Zahra alayhi salam. He would always remember her and remember how, how much of a hard worker she was, how much of a, a, a devout wife she was. He says, Wallah ma aghlabatni. Wallah, not once did she hurt me. Not once did she do anything that upset me. This was Fatima alayhi salam. My dear brothers and sisters, we are in need of looking at the life of Fatima and we are in need of taking lessons from the life of Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam. Fatima al-Zahra is an example of greatness. She's an example of someone who achieved the highest levels of success. Yet yeah, Fatima alayhi salam, she never compromised her values and she stood for what she believed in. This was Fatima alayhi salam. And this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made her from the great ones. This is why Fatima al-Zahra is Sayyida to Nisa al-Alameen. This is why she is the leader of all of the women of the world. My dear brothers and sisters, I don't know how long I've been speaking. I lost track. So um, if, if I've been, um, if you could tell me how long, how long I've been speaking, I wanted to recite a, a short poem before I conclude in Arabic, if you give me permission. Uh, go ahead, say <clears throat> And this was a poem, this was a poem that my grandfather, Ayatollah Sayyid Murtad al Qazwini, recited probably over 60, 70 years ago in Karbala. And he recited this in the shrine of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. And it's in honor of Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam. Laylun bihi zaa'at al-dunya bisayyidatin Laylun bihi zaa'at al-dunya bisayyidatin Lam yakhluq Allah haadha al-khalq lawlaha هي البتول وما أحلى اسمها بفمي هي الزكية بنت المصطفى طه اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد إن أقبل الصبح صامت عن لذائذها أو عسعس عس الليل قامت في مصلاها He says ليل به ضاءت الدنيا بسيدة In a night that this whole world was illuminated by a سيدة By a great lady لم يخلق الله هذا الخلق لولاها. If it was not for her, God would not have created this creation. Because Fatima Zahra, she is the mother of the ma'sumin. And if there is no ma'sum, if there is no infallible, 
then there would be no purpose in this world and life continuing. Who is she? She is the Batul. And what a beautiful name it is in my mouth. He is Zakiya to Bintul Mustafa Taha. She is the purified one, the daughter of the Mustafa Taha. In Aqbal al Subh, Samat an Lada Idiha. When the morning comes, she is fasting from all of the pleasures. And once night comes, she stands in her mihrab to pray. Mecca, Umm al Qura, was joyous and a lightning lit the sky until the whole atmosphere at that time it was lit and illuminated by the light of fatima and then he says fasurat al kawthar ikhtassat biha sharafan wa hasbuha suratun tasmu bi ma'naha allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave her a surah surat al kawthar and what a great surah in the name of fatima who am I to come and count the greatness and the merits of Fatima? Who am I to come and count the greatness of Fatima? Fallah Sharrafaha, Wallah Fadalaha, Wallah Taharaha, Wallah Zakaha, Wallah Zawajaha, Wallah Azdakaha, Wahutbat al Akdi Fauk al Arshi al Kaha. He says, Who am I to come and know the greatness of Fatima when God Sharrafaha gave her the honor? Wallah Fadalaha, and God gave her. The merits over all, all else. Wallah taharaha. And Allah purified her. Wallah zakaha. Wallahu zawajaha. And the marriage of Fatima was by God. Wallahu zawajaha. Wallahu azdaqaha. And the mahar of Fatima was given by God. Wa khutbat al-aqd fawq al-arsh al-qaha. And the khutbah, the marriage ceremony, took place above the arsh of Allah. This is Fatima alayhi salam. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant you all and grant us the ziyarah of Lady Fatima alayhi salam and the shafa'ah of Lady Fatima alayhi salam and to make us from those who will rise with her grandson, Imam al-Mahdi al-Muntadar, ajjalallahu ta'ala farajahu al-sharif. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to save us from this pandemic, from this virus that has kept us away from one another uh, by the blessings of the name of Fatima. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu ala muhammadin wa ala alihi al-tahireen. Allahumma salli ala muhammad wa ala muhammad. Ahsantum, Sayyidina, barakallahu fikum. Ahsanallahu alayhi. جميل جميل جدا خاصة الختام أجمل الله يحفظكم إن شاء الله يخليكم محمد تحب تقول شيء على سيد أحسنتم سيدنا thank you so much uh, for that beautiful um, uh, for 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 that beautiful lecture I'm um, sorry usually... I lost track of time so I hope it wasn't too short or too long no it's no, no it was perfect it was perfect <laughs> alhamdulillah thank you so much and uh Usually we have, uh, maybe we'll give an opportunity for a few questions, but I don't see any questions in the chat and um, maybe we'll give people another 10, 20 seconds to ask any questions if they have. Um, if not, um, I have a very popular question for you, Sayyidina, yeah. um, that we hear a lot of the times and um, especially right now 
during the pandemic and these difficult times, how do you, how, how are you able to stay or what are, what are some of the, some advice you can give for people to stay positive with all the negativity around us? I would suggest, you know, my advice is to try to be as productive as possible as you can. When you feel that you are achieving something, when you feel that you are doing something, that will remove the negativity. That will make you feel like you are doing something. A lot of people, you know, during this COVID, they probably spent it just playing video games or watching Netflix or doing things that are just wasting time. Yes, you have a lot of time. So try to be as productive as possible, perhaps reading, writing, doing something that will bring you closer to your family, doing a project in the house. It doesn't have to be religious. It could be anything, you know, something that will make you feel like you accomplished something so that in a year from now, someone asks you, what did you achieve during the pandemic? You don't just say, I watched all of Netflix. You, you know, you say, I did this. I was able to achieve this and achieve that. I was able to read this, this number of books. So, if we are able to keep ourselves productive, I believe that that will remove a lot of the negativity. It's just that people need to find something that they're passionate about. And there has to be something that you're passionate about. You know, there's, there, there are so many opportunities. Right now, we have learning opportunities. You know, in, in my, just, just 10 years ago, if you wanted to get Hausa studies, you have to go and move to the Hausa. We didn't have access to it. Now, alhamdulillah, we have access to lectures in English and Arabic and Farsi and Urdu and all of the languages you have. Them. And classes that are taught in the Hausa, they're being taught right now. Even in fact, right now, the scholars in the Hausa, they're teaching online. So, so we, have, we have so much resources. We have so much resources. Try to do something. If it's with your religion, that's excellent. Even if it's something with your dunya, be productive in this dunya. There's nothing haram about that. As long as you're not doing something haram, be productive. If someone takes care of their family, if someone provides for their family. So these are, these are certain, you know, something that I have as a, a piece of advice for, for my dear brothers and sisters to know that this life will come to an end. People are dying right now. And a lot of people, they didn't expect that they would be dying or someone that they know would be dying. But that's, that's, you know, that's a reminder for us that let me take advantage of the limited number of days that I have left. Yeah, I found that a lot of people um, picked up some, some neat things to do, whether it's, uh, you know, cooking or learning, you know, you know, how to draw or paint or doing puzzles spending time with family, um, creating things, building things, um, you know, reading more. And um, I, I can, that resonates with me for sure. Like being more productive does definitely does keep the positivity up. Thank you so much, Saidna. Um, I, I, um, we're going to move on to our next segment, uh, inshallah. And we'd love for you to, to stay with us, but I do know that it's late in, in, in Dearborn. Um, you're more than welcome. We'd love for you to, to stay with us, but it's, it's you at your comfort, inshallah. May Allah bless you. Thank 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 you. It was our honor and pleasure. Thank you so much, Sayyid Salah. Thank you. Thank you. عليكم السلام ان شاء الله ننتقل للفقرة القادمة ان شاء الله مع قصيدة للشاب المؤمن الشاب الطيب الشاب اللي حقيقة نفتخر فيه الجالية ان شاء الله ينشدنا بصوت جميل مصطفى شتين نحييه ان شاء الله أخ محمد راح يقدمه بعد من إنجليزي حتى الشباب يستاهل الشاب مصطفى We'd like to welcome uh, Mullah Mustafa Jum'a for a beautiful recitation in Nasheed 
let's welcome him with a salat ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Allahumma oh, salli ala, ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. And now I think at this point, everyone can turn their cameras on, right, Brother Jaffa? I guess, yeah, if they want to clap along. Yeah, they clap. With, yeah, they clap. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's muted, way different sure. reading can, online. It, with no clapping, it's... No, it's, but if the clapping is making you... Uh, me and Muhammad were clapping, yes. Just, okay. just, just the yeah. hand movement, so I could, like, see people clapping, you know? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, don't worry, me and Muhammad will clap. Inshallah. And you're clapping too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll try to clap too. All right. Ya Zahra, Ya Zahra, flower of Ali. Ya Hawra, Ya Hawra, delight of Nabi. Ya Zahra, Ya Zahra, flower of Ali. Ya Hawra, Ya Hawra, delight of Nabi, Ummul Aimma, Bintul Khadija, Ummul Aimma, Bintul Khadija, Ruhul Kamali, Ruhul Kamali, Ya Zahra, Ya Zahra, flower of Ali, Ya Hawra, Ya Hawra, delight of Nabi, Ya Zahra, Ya Zahra, flower of Ali. Ya Hawra, Ya Hawra, delight of Nabi. Ummul Aimma, Bintul Khadija. Ummul Aimma, Bintul Khadija. Ruhul Kamali, Ruhul Kamali. The one and only daughter of Taha Yasin, the best of daughters given to Ummul Mu'mineen. We ask you to intercede for us on Qiyamah, so that with you we may also enter Jannah. On this day for surely victorious will be saved from the hellfire through his mercy. On this day for surely victorious will be saved from the hellfire through his mercy. Bintul Khadija, Ummul Aimma. Bintul Khadija, Ummul Aimma. Bintul Khadija, Ruhul Kamali, Ruhul Kamali, Ya Zahra. Zahra, flower of Ali. Ya Hawra, Ya Hawra, delight of Nabi. Ya Zahra, Zahra, flower of Ali, everyone. Ya Hawra, Ya Hawra, delight of Nabi. Ummul Aimma, Bintul Khadija. Ummul Aimma, Bintul Khadija. Ruhul Kamali. Ruhul Kamali, the best of women, the best of the women to have walked on this earth. You deserve the best of husbands equal to your worth. He was known as Al Karar and Asadullah, the one who gave charity while he was in Salah. Ya Haydar, Ya Haydar, Babu al Madina. Blessed he was to be born in the Kaaba. Blessed he was to be born in the Kaaba. Ummul Aimma, Bintul Khadija. Ummul Aimma, Bintul Khadija. Ruhul Kamali, Ruhul Kamali. Ya Zahra, Ya Zahra. Ali, Ya Hawra, Ya Hawra, delight of Nabi. Ya Zahra, Ya Zahra, flower of Ali. Ya Hawra, Ya Hawra, delight of Nabi. Ummul Aimma, Bintul Khadija. Ummul Aimma, Bintul Khadija. Ruhul Kamali, Ruhul Kamali. 
the best of the woman to have walked on this earth. You deserve the best of husbands equal to your word. He was known as al karar and Asadullah, the one who gave charity while he was in Salah. Ya Haydar, Ya Haydar, Babu al Madina. Blessed he was to be born in the Kaaba. Ya Haydar, Ya Haydar, Babu al Madina. Blessed he was to be born in the Kaaba. Blessed he was to be born in the Kaaba. Ummul Aimma. بنت الخديجة أم الأئمة بنت الخديجة روح الكمال روح الكمال يا زهرة يا زهرة flower of علي يا حورة يا حورة delights of نبي يا زهرة يا زهرة flower of علي يا حورة يا حورة delights of نبي أم الأئمة بنت الخديجة أم الأئمة بنت الخديجة روح الكمال روح الكمال In your house the Holy Prophet did come one day You shrouded him a story remember till today A house with such nur which was seen from high above Respected such that even the angels would knock. Who was under this cook? The questions had begun. Fatima, her father, husband, and her sons. Ummul Aimma, bintul Khadija. Ummul Aimma, bintul Khadija. Ruh al Kamali, Ruh al Kamali. Ya Zahra, Ya Zah. Flower of Ali, ya Hawra, ya Hawra, delight of Nabi, ya Zahra, ya Zahra, flower of Ali, ya Hawra, ya Hawra, delight of Nabi, Ummul Aimma, bintul Khadija, Ummul Aimma, bintul Khadija, Ruh al Kamali. روح الكمال صلوا على محمد وآل محمد اللهم صل على محمد, على محمد وآل محمد مصطفى في رقم من الشات you see how many yeah, people like clap I love it the emojis <laughs> the clapping hands that really help thank you guys good, so much good 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 you're watching it thank it. you thank you guys so much <laughs> no, it's very good don't think you could you alone <laughs> Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. It's very nice. Thank you so much. Okay, what do you want to say, Muhammad? Mustafa, is uh, are you done? If there's more time, I could read uh, Qasid in Arabic. Um, uh, otherwise, I'm done. Yeah. Arabic, of course. Go. Yeah, go <laughs> ahead. All right. Uh, <clears throat> يا مولد النور غمرتنا الأفراح يا مولد النور صبح الأمل لاح والهادي مسرور وصبح الأمل لاح والهادي مسرور حان الوعد حان من بعد الأحلام عند إني باليوم من أحلى الأيام يا زهرة الكون يا أم الأكرام يا شمعة الخير في درب الإسلام يا زهرة الكون يا أم الأكرام يا شمعة الخير في درب الإسلام صوت الفرح صاح دينا الله منصور غمرتنا الأفراح يا مولد النور غمرتنا الأفراح يا مولد النور 
صبح الأمل لاح والهادي مسرور صبح الأمل لاح والهادي مسرور يا سيد الكون هالليلة بشرك بالذر والأملاك فرحانة وياك ما ظلت غيوم ومن أورى دنياك صبرك المعبود بالزهرة جازاك ما ظلت غيوم ومن أورى دنياك صبرك المعبود بالزهرة جازاك للرحمة مصباح ها يوم البدور غمرتنا الأفراح يا مولد النور غمرتنا الأفراح يا مولد النور صبح الأمل لاح والهادي مسرور صبح الأمل لاح والهادي مسرور صلوا على محمد وآل محمد اللهم صل على, على محمد, محمد وآل محمد الله الله مصطفى حلوة كلش حلوة ما شاء الله هذا طر طر ممتاز جميل بارك الله فيك روعة عاشتيد حبيبي عمو thank you so much ما شاء الله ما شاء الله is very good Arabic is the best عاش صوتك عاش عاش صوتك حبيبي very well done thank you so much thank you so much I appreciate and I appreciate everybody that was supporting me in the comments with the emojis the clapping uh, we're not together, but we're no, not really we together in together. person, we're but, but <laughs> yeah, we're, we are together. Uh, you guys proved that we're together from all these, all the support, all the emojis, all the clapping and made me feel better about performing online rather. Good job. Like, you have to be proud of it for yourself. So much. Performing to your, to your cell phone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> rather than just performing to myself. Yeah. Ahsan, Ahsan, Barakallah Feek. Well done. Thank you so much uh, for that beautiful, beautiful recitation, Mullah Mustafa. Thank you. Thank you. Um, next, we have a uh, special game for everyone. Inshallah, it's going to be run by Brother, Muhammad, uh, Brother Ali Samak and, uh, and uh, Brother Jafar. And uh, inshallah, they'll uh, get started. Everyone get ready. You know, I think they have some really cool prizes as well that they're going to tell you about. And um, I think you need to put your thinking hats on because there's some difficult questions from my, what I understand. But everyone is allowed to participate and it's going to be both in Arabic and English, inshallah. So, Brother oh. Ali, uh, take it away. Shukran. Uh, Shabab, guys, we're going to turn on the mic. Uh, keep your mic is off anyone have answer turn on his, on his mic and then turn it off right away uh asila bil arabi bil inglesi asila lil shabab wa asila lil kbar bas li li bi jawab lazim yiftah al camera wa yitkallam has to speak to say the number and the guys i know they're going to open it but the adults you have to do it too so yeah but tell everyone now even to open their cameras. And open Let's the camera. See everyone. Up to you. Yeah. If you don't want to open the camera, at least the adults, you can open the mic. So, <laughs> so don't no, don't on the mic now until come your name. So don't Ali, turn on the rule? mic, turn on the cameras. So Ali, what's the rule? They have to write their name or Ali? Yeah, so whoever wants to participate. Um, if they can put their name in the chat. Um, and then we'll do one Arabic question and one English question. Okay, okay. 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 Ali. Ali, uh, I suggest two questions from you to the guys starting, and then the third one for adults. 
Ali, you, you have to turn on your mic because everyone off. Ali, turn off your mic. Turn on your mic, Ali. Can you hear me? Yes, now. Okay, you see the names and you choose. Okay. Um, so, Abu Sadiq, I'm just going to do a start with the kids. We'll do one question and then we'll go on to the Arabic, okay? No, do two and then I yes. start with the Arabic. So. Okay, guys, before he start, so the gift, the gift, I have envelope, you know, as usual, and cash. So, just I one have. Just a second. That's because I. So I see people writing in the chat. Is that what you guys you want? Guys? Yeah, they have their names. So their names, Ali. okay. Yeah, so Ali has to see this. Okay, yeah. Uh, one second. Uh, so I want to show you like this envelopes. There is two envelopes. One have big amount of money, one have small amount by your luck. So you choose and uh, you have to send me your email if you have uh, like to make e-transfer. الأهل رجان من الأهل العوائل أي واحد من الأولاد يفوز أنا شكثر أقول الرغب لازم تعطونا مباشرة من عندكم إن شاء الله بعدين إحنا نتواصل نوصل لكم المبلغ شجعوا الشباب شبابكم هذا اللي أرجو من الآباء والأمهات أي واحد من أولادكم يفوز تنطونا المبلغ مباشرة شكثر يطلع لهني بالأنبلاب أنت جهزوا محافظكم وعطوهم رأسا شجعوا أولادكم وأبنائكم وبعدين أنا بطريقتي أوصل لكم المبلغ أنتوا الأباء إذا دزوا لي الإيميل أوصل لكم المبلغ أرجاء حتى الأولاد يتشجعون لأن أكو منهم لحد الآن أنا عندي مبالغ ما وصلت لهم فأحسن طريقة أن الأباء تساهمون ويانا وتوصلون لهم المبلغ مباشرة أرجوكم كل واحد يجيب المحفظة مالته يجيب الوالد ويخليها أمه أحسنت تفضل علي Ahsan, so the first person we're going to ask is Muhammad he has his name A um, who is that? Muhammad, what, can you turn on your mic, Muhammad? And he has to turn on his camera. Yeah, let's figure out who this Muhammad is first. Um, so he sent, you sent in, your name is A. And you said, my name is Muhammad. Are you still Move on to the next one, maybe. Yeah. Muhammad, turn on your mic, Muhammad. You might be having troubles. Uh, what, if you can turn your mic on after, inshallah, we'll get to you again. Um, so next person on the list, he's on there. Um, can I can't hear anything. You have to. Maybe he can't. Uh, oh, is have, is unmuting the name. disabled? You have too many names, Ali. They start to write their name. I wait, can, wait. I'll I'll open it for him. His camera. Hello, on. hello. There, we can hear you now. Salam alaikum, Muhammad. Yeah, just press it once, Muhammad. Salam. Salam alaikum. Alaikum assalam. Yonik, how's it going? Good. You can turn on your mic if you want. It's on. You have to turn on your camera. Oh. Yeah. There you go. All right, Muhammad, which question do you want to ask? Or which topic? Ya Zahra. For how much? Um, 400. Start from the top, Ali. Yeah, okay. We'll start at the top, okay? Okay. Who is Fatima Zahra's mother? Khatija. Khatija Al Kubra. Ahsant. Very good. Ahsant. Okay. A or B? Um, B. B. Is your dad beside you? Here's B. No, I've just been guessing. Okay, here. Five no, dollars. I mean, five dollars. Okay, yeah, your dad beside it. you? No, <laughs> I just guessed. You want to see the second one? Yes. The second number? Watch it be 20. Twenty dollars have to be twenty. Oh, you know. <laughs> oh, I waited too long. Okay, so your dad beside you? No, I decided. Who? Anyone? Who's beside you? Anyone Who's beside he, you? He has... Yeah, my mom. Okay, tell her to give, give you five bucks. Five dollar, and then we. 
Yes. So, Muhammad, huh? Yes. He said she'll give me. Okay, good job, Muhammad. Muhammad, you know? Muhammad Hussain, how old? Oh, uh, no. Okay. MashaAllah, Muhammad Diamond won, huh? Yeah. I mean, oh, I want been waiting this whole time for it. <laughs> he's on top of it so fast. He put his name there. I I was the first one to type. Yeah, Allah, thank you so much, Muhammad. All right, the next person is Maryam. Amen. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Is this Maryam? Yes. All right, which question do you want to ask? Maryam Shino, what's the next question? Maryam Ayman. Maryam Ayman. Okay. Go you ahead. guys have to send send a, a a message in the chat with your full name and your email address and your phone number to okay. either me or Al Kauthar IA, which is Brother Jafar, or Ali Samak. Okay. So then we can e transfer you. If you guys don't do it, then you're not gonna get the money. No, they're gonna get their money, but their family. <laughs> okay, go. All right, go ahead. Uh, around the world, hundred. Around the world, which flag? Uh, which country the flag represents? Mexico. Mexico. Yes, that's correct. Ah, uh, of course, Mexico, Ali. I sent. <laughs> I sent him. Okay, Mariam, B or A. 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 Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Five dollars. <laughs> okay, your dad, lucky he's beside you, he has to give you the money. Tell me if he don't. All right, so the next person. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, another Maryam. Oh, Ali, Ali, no, yeah. adult. Assalamu alaikum. Maryam, before you go, if you can mute, we're going to ask one question in Arabic. Um, what, Abu Sadiq, what, what do you think about, we'll ask the question and then they have to put their hands up if they want to answer it from the kbar. Yeah. So they'll put their hands up and then you'll pick them and then they'll answer the question. شنو الكبار يخافون من الاسئله زين انا راح اسال الكبار راح اسال وكتبوا الجواب اول واحد يكتب الجواب اول واحد يكتب الجواب وهو ياخذ الجائزه يا ذا ميك سنس اوكي علي نبتدي بال حط لهم 300 عامه ولا آه. يلا اسال بعد اسال عامه يلا اوكي اي واحد تشوز يلا <تصفيق> اوكي عملة عملة دولة اليونان شنو الفلوس اللي يستخدمونها اليونان؟ ما هي عملة دولة اليونان الرسمية؟ إذا جاك جواب يورو يورو من هذا الكتاب يورو؟ يورو لو دراخما لو شنو؟ يورو أول واحد اللي جاوب يورو منو؟ أنا اوكي صح يورو مضبوط زين الحين الوضع البي يورو يورو اول واحد اللي جاوب يورو هو الصح انا يا انا زين شنو ال بي او اي جائزه بي او اي لا قلنا اليونان مو اليابان بي بي اوكي بي ب شوف جائزتين اكو واحده كبيره وواحده صغيره طلع حظكم ويا صغيره 5 دولار مبروك مبروكين 
All right, so Maryam, if you can turn your mic on again. Assalamualaikum. Assalamu rahmatullah. Which uh, topic did you want? I'll do Ya Zahra for 200. Ya Zahra for 200. Where was Sayyidina Fatima to Zahra alayhi salam born? Just give me one second, I'm thinking. Yeah, take your time. Mecca. Yes. So go ahead, pick A or B. Um, um, A. We can't hear you. We can't hear you. Oh, can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear okay, you. Okay, I need the name again before, uh, to, before I give the... Maryam, Maryam, what's your last name? Maryam Aboud. Maryam Aboud. MashaAllah, Maryam Aboud, Diamond Foods. A or B? You choose already? A, right? I chose A. Wow, congratulations. $20. Shukran, <laughs> Amu. Oh, All right, Yalla Abu Sadiq, we'll ask a question in Hada. When the 50s are going to go? 50s are going to go. Okay, ask. In a day, for the young people, in a day, 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 in a day. جمال الثاني عشرين جمال الثاني صح صح أحسنتم أوه الروح إلى دوت بس أوكي A or B A or B بس أم أم زين يا سمر بنين a or B? Hal the flu to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. A. 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 Okay, Mabrook. All right, the next person, Sami, if you can turn on your mic. Hello, Salaam alaikum. Salaam alaikum. How's it going? Good, how are you? Can you turn on your camera? How's it going? Good, alhamdulillah. How about you? Alhamdulillah, nice to see you. All right, so which uh, topic did you want? Uh, I'll do Yazahar 300. Yazahar 300. How many children did Allah bless Sayyidina Fatima to Zahra with? And for bonus, you have to name them. Okay, there was uh, Imam Al Hassan, Imam Al Hussein, yeah. uh, Bibi Zainab, and, and uh, uh, Bibi. Uh, there was uh, uh, Mohsin who was miscarriage, and there was. Uh, Um Kultum. Ahsan. Yeah. I put Sahih. Yeah, Ahsan. He got it. Okay. Alice Sami Nakvi. Huh? Sami Nakvi. Sami. Sami Nakvi. Sami Nakvi. Sami. Um okay, so A or B, Sami. I would choose B. 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 What's wrong? Give everyone choose like a small one. <laughs> Five dollar. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, send your information, inshallah. Thank we'll you. you. Mabrook, mabrook. All right, thank you so much for participating. Okay, we'll ask uh, 100 in Arabi. 100 in Arabi, okay. Who's, who's, who's? Shufun, so much for 
ما اسم اطول نهر في العالم؟ ها علي شو تشوف من هذول كتبون امازون النيل حج النيل <تصفيق> حج لازم يشوف من اول واحد جاوب فاطمه ضياء الدين نهر النيل نهر النيل فاطمه ضياء الدين نهر النيل منو؟ فاطمه ضياء الدين نهر النيل احسنت احسنت حجي فاطمه منو؟ فاطمه امازون What do you mean, Mississippi? Yeah, but Fatma, Haji, Jawab, at the first one. Fatma, Fatma, who is your name, Ali? Fatma, Diyah Ad-Din. Fatma, Diyah Ad-Din. Okay. Fatma, Diyah Ad-Din. A or B? I choose B. B. Oh my God, I can't believe five dollars. <laughs> we're, we're saving a lot of money tonight. <laughs> I'd like to let you know, I'd like to donate this money to Muslim Youth in Motion. Oh, good. Thank you. I'd like to let you know, I'd like to donate this money. Okay, turn off the mic, everyone, please. Oh, good. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Or your camera. Ahsan. Nice to see you, Hassan. Hassan, which question do you want? Ya Zahra 400. MashaAllah, 400. They're going for the. What did Sayyida Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam inherit from the Prophet? If you are listening to the lecture, I think uh, Sayyid Sadiq Ghazwini also mentioned it. It's, it's a land. Ahsan, to the land of Fedek. Ahsan. MashaAllah. A or B? A. A. Bismillah. 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 <laughs> Oh my God, five dollars. <laughs> I have all the envelopes at five dollars. No, no, no. Show it to you. Twenty dollars, second one. You see it? <laughs> wow, that's unlucky. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. Mabruk Hassan, Hassan? Hassan, more Hassan. Hassan, 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 اي نعم رضا ليش مو ابو رضا مو جدا جدا شو اسمه شنو رضا يقول رضا سؤال ليش ابو رضا خلي يجاوب يلا ما طول فتح المايك نسال سؤال ابو رضا اسئله عامله تبي اسئله على السيده زهراء ابو رضا السؤال الرضا يلا روح اسال رضا علي اي وينه خلي يفتح المايك لازم يتكلم لازم لازم بال هذا يعني وي هاف ا ليست اسمه حاطين اسمه بالشات ما ادري اوكي خلي داون ذا تشات بالعربي ما قاعد نسمع يلا يلا ما نسمعك جعفر ماذا كان يفعل الرسول صلى الله عليه واله حين يشتاق لرائحة الجنة؟ يبو اسم التفاطم السلام الله عليه منو هذا؟ شو انت؟ شو غير جاوب بالشات الناس جاي تكتب يلا زين انت فتحت المايك شنو يقول؟ منو ايفون؟ ومنو اللي جاي يتكلم؟ منو معي منو؟ منو اللي فتح المايك وحكى منو؟ مرحوم ابو نبا نعم خالق شلونك يا اخوان حياك الله شنو يسوي شنو؟ هذا كان يفعل الرسول جاوب جاوب مره ثانيه ابو نبا اوكي هو قالها بالعراقي ده باللهجه العراقيه يسوي كان يشم الزهراء عليه السلام سيدة فاطمة الزهراء اوكي اي او بي 
You have to turn on your camera. We don't see your face. We see the top of your head. Did you get a fresh cut or what? No, but I got a buzz. Like a while Why back. are you showing us your head? Okay. Well, we like this haircut a lot. Yeah, bro. <laughs> All right, choose a question. Uh, around the world, 200. Around the world, 200. What is the uh, capital city of Sweden? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, All right. It's... Come on. Usually, usually you're looking for Google. Oh, uh, Stockholm, Stockholm. Ah, Sen, Stockholm is the good girl. job. Sen, A or B? A or B? Lahda, Sen, Lahda, Lahda. I said, I'm going on, huh? A or B? Uh, B. B. Yeah. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. Akbar shway. Asher dollars. Mabro. Okay. Shukran Amu. Alright. Okay, so i Okay, so Boeing. Boeing. That's Sharika. Sharika Dawla. Sharika, Sharika, Sharika Dawla. Canadia, KLM, KLM Ali. Hollandia, KLM, Mo? KLM, KLM, KLM. How will we have a job, KLM Ali? KLM, KLM. Jaffer is known as KLM. I know, sir, and Bessam Hassan Jaub at Gabla. KLM. I will get her swallowed. I'll look at the chat. Show the chat. Got chat. المناعت يتوجه لي واحد قبلي لا مو أبو ماجد راح نسأل سؤال خاص لك أوكي أم حسن أم حسن جاوبت قبلكم أم حسن A أو B سؤال خاص لك أم حسن جاوبت كلام A أو B لحظة 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 هذا هذا مال كبار هذا مال صغار A أو B حسن كل واحد يطفي الماك رجاء يلا لا ملاك اي 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 بسم الله اللهم صل على محمد 20 ام حسن ام حسن شنو ام حسن شنو دونيشن الحسينيه ام حسن القصي آه والنعم حياكم الله دونيشن الحسينية شكرا yeah. بارك الله فيكم الله يتقبل إن شاء الله زين أنا بسأل سؤال الكبار جاي ينطون أولادهم من ف... من شو اسمه لو ما جاي يوصلون لهم مبالغ رجان قلنا أي واحد يفوز الولد تنطونه مبلغ مباشرة رجان الآباء والأمهات The guys you get your money from your parents or no let me know Yalla Ali, Yalla. ask your question. Yalla, next person is... Let me see who it is. It should be Fatima Jum'a. Fatima Jum'a. Okay, go ahead, Fatima Jum'a. Are you there? Fatima Jum'a. 
السلام عليكم وعليكم عليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته All right, which question do you want? Um, sign beyond 100 Why are you looking 100? This is, this is to be easy? The solid state of water is known as water Ice <laughs> Yeah, bad you choose 100. <laughs> <For example. laughs> A or B? Uh, B. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Last answer, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Who is this? God, $5. Who is it? I told you, are you sure? Look what you're missing. Look, $20. Oh <laughs> <laughs> oh. Abu Sadiq, uh, Hassan Dia Adin wants to donate his money back. Hassan Dia Adin, shukran jazeelan. Barakallah fiqa. Sorry, not back. To MYM. <clears throat> oh, to Okay, no problem. So, uh, so I own ten dollars. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, so we'll ask. Saad You're gonna owe me a lot more, man. Abu Sadiq Saad bin Arabi. No, after the match, we're all the boys. We're done with the Arabi. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's a few more. There is. Oh, you don't want it? Let's just do a couple for the Shabab then. <clears throat> all right, Aisha. So who was that last last Fatima girl? Jumma. Aisa, turn on your microphone and camera. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Someone can't see you. Oh, there you are. All right, which question do you want, Aisa? Uh, uh, 300 signs and beyond. Oh, sorry, 300 around the world. Around the world? Yeah. Which flag of which country is this? Jamaica? No. I'll give you one more try. Uh, South Africa? Sense. That's the correct answer. A or B? Uh, they're both uh, $5. I already know. Uh, a. <laughs> Aisa, A or B? Be, he's trying to be smart. Yeah, hey. you get disappointed if he gets five dollars. Yeah. <laughs> he should only get five bucks. That's all he expects at this point. Tell me, I say you see hey, the hey, camera hey. or you see the hey. camera or no, Isa? Yeah, I see. Hey. Okay, you see. Hey. You see when the money I take it? Yeah. Oh. Ten dollars. Oh. 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 It's good or not good? You said it's five dollars, huh? No, he said he it's wants good. five dollars only. Okay, Abu Maryam, انطيع عشر دولارات. أنا أوصلك إياهم. Email. Oh, oh, Bob, even though I got 10, you're still giving okay, me one, a one, Ali, one, four, four, adult, the last one. Baba. Okay, another one? Okay. Baba, even though I got 10, no. you have to give me 20. Yeah, perfect. Exactly. I want 20. Okay, adult, let me see. I can't see. Can you turn on the mic? Shabab, guys, can you turn off your mic? Can you turn off the mic, everyone? Please. Aina Alqat al Zahra. Ah, Mazid al Rasul. Badi Masa at the soul. Minu li jawab. Awal wahad. Ali. Al Kishwan. Al Kishwan. Awal wahad. Aya. Al Kishwan. Okay, Al Kishwan. A lo B. Or do I run the world or something? I know that is a lot of the same. I know that is a lot of the same. I know that is a lot of the same. A or B? A or B? Kishwan. Kishwan, A or B? One. راح عدل الخمسة. Two, three. Cash one, A or B? Four, five, five, five. هدية للمسجد. شكرا جزيلا. هدية لحسين يا غزل. 
Yalla miskurin Ali Ali Adan. All of them. All of them. All right, we're just gonna let them go. Just yani, without the prize, at least let them just ask the question. Is that okay? Okay. Anyone answer? I have five dollars. Okay. Yeah. Let me go to the next. All question. these answers are for five bucks. Yeah. Sense. Okay. So the next person is Ahmed. Ahmed. Wa alaikum assalam. Um, Ahmed, which question, uh, which one do you want to ask? Um, science and Beyond 300. Science and Beyond, that one was already asked. Oh, sorry, no, it wasn't asked. What food makes up nearly all of a giant panda's diet? Bamboo. Ah, sense. Bamboo is the correct answer. Minu, minu, my. Ahmed, what's your last name? Kabi, Kabi. Kabi. Oh, Ahmed al Kabi, Marathania? No, no, Hussein was the first one. <laughs> oh, okay. No, no, no. Why did you put your name as Abdullah? Hey. My name is Abdullah? On, on the thing, I think that's. You uh, can Ali, you choose Ahmed Abdullah. Ahmed, who signed in under the phone, Abdullah. Is that Ahmed there? Uh, no. So maybe there is Abdullah and you miss him. No, he said Ahmed. He's, he put name Ahmed. Okay. Is he there? He's, Abdullah? He's Ahmed. Ahmed. No, he's, he's Abdullah Ali. He's oh, Ali. He's, I'm, I'm Abdullah. Ah, okay. He was white Obama earlier, so we have to. Okay, that's what he's doing. He's changing his name. Okay, so the next person is Haidara Ali. Haidara, $5. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Which question do you want? Al Sayyid al Zahra 300. 300? There's only 500 left for that. Like 200 is much easy. You want the 200 one? Okay, 200. <laughs> what planet is known as the red planet? Uh, I wanted to say the Zahra. Well, that one is only 500. It's a very difficult question. Okay, okay. I still want it. Okay. You sure you want that one? Okay, yeah. Say, say the Zahra in Arabic, Ali. Say the Zahra in Arabic. Yeah, say oh, the Zahra in you want the Arabic one? No, but you want English one. You want Arabic or English one? Arabic. Arabic. Okay. You say the Zaharat, how many of the players? Sorry. Akmal al Hadith, Fatima. Akmal Hadith. Fatima, Tun. Fatima, Tun. فاطمة بضعة منا أحسن بضعة مني عشتيدك مبروك سلم لي على أبوك تستاهل خمس دولارات أحسن مبروك مبروك منو هذا حيدة حيدرة حيدرة ابن أبوه علي يلا علي هذا أعتقد خلصنا الأسئلة أم we have a couple more if we can ask them. Just move it quick. If they don't answer, go to the next group. Wa alaikum assalam, Mahdi. Yalla, which one do you want, Mahdi? Around the world, 400. 400? What is the capital city of Morocco? Zabalanko. Hello. Hello. City of Morocco. Rabat. I don't know. Hello. <laughs> uh, all right. We'll give you a different one, Mehdi. Yalla. What planet is known as the red planet, Mehdi? Yalla, Mars. Is, was, that, was that Mehdi answering? No. no. <laughs> it's okay. Mehdi gets $5. Yalla. Yeah, Mehdi gets $5. They answered for him. Yeah. They Mehdi. Did. Mehdi get five dollar, please. Who's beside you? Your dad or your mom? They have to give you five dollar. Mehdi, I write your name. Mehdi Minu. Mehdi Shinu. 
المصوي اه ما شاء آه الله نادي موسوي انا اطلبك 5 دولارات من قبل مو؟ سو يجيز 10 دولارز لو تطلبني انا اطلب يطلبني اوكي 10 دولار مهدي هاي مرتين يفوز مهدي هو اعتقد اخته نعطي السؤال حق ابو ماجد اعطي السؤال حق ابو اصعب سؤال عطى هذا يلا ابو ماجد هذا السؤال ابو ماجد هذا السؤال لك رجاء لا احد يجاوب يلا لازم تفتح كامرتك امي ابو ماجد تسمع السؤال ما ادري خلي شو مفتوح الكاميرا لا انا راح أس... لا لا انا راح اسالك هذا... سؤال هذا هذا جاوبتوه جاوبتوه هذا اوه oh, يا yeah, سوري هذا خلنا نعطيه اوه ذس ون ايزي ما اس ها ايش فيك بطلت يقول يلا يا اسال ما اسم خادمه السيده فاطمه الزهراء عليه السلام فضة دولارين لك يا عمي ابو ماجد انا اقل من 1000 دولار ما اوافق تستاهل تستاهل عمي تستاهل تستاهل مليون دولار يلا نفذ ولا خمس دولارات هاي جاهزه عمي ابو ماجد هاي اخر وحده يلا نكست جعفر علي quickly we only have a couple of questions we're not going to be يلا جعفر وين جعفر علي ها انا جعفر عاد في غيرك؟ اكو اكو يلا جعفر افتح اسال اسال علي اسال بسرعه موجود لا خليه يفتح اذا ما فاتح Are you there جعفر؟ السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام هلا هلا هل. هل. جعفر هلا ويتش ويتش كويستشن دو يو وان جعفر؟ هاي هاد جعفر سيده فاطمه سيده فاطمه بالعرب بالعربي بالعربي ماكو بالعربي نعطيه 300 آه ماكو عامه اكو عامه ماكو قصدي الزهراء افتح لها عامه ديوان بالعربي هسه خلصوا الاسئله مال الزهراء جعفر ايش هذا؟ جعفر علي ايوه نعم عاد جعفر ليش طفرت فاطمه؟ كانت قبل عيسى اه حاجه ابو امنه ابو امنه حاجه هذا والله هم قاعد يشوفون الشباب ليش طفرت فاطمه علي؟ كم عدد لاعبين فريق الهوكي؟ كيفكم ممكن؟ كم عدد لاعبين فريق الهوكي؟ كم؟ انا اقول لك اربعه لو خمسه لو سته تشوز تذكر خمسه خمسه فاطمه اكيد يعني اكيد لا خطا سوري ستة 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 صح لك خمس دولارات يلا سؤال الفاطمة علي وش نمبر يوم الفاطمة فاطمة وش نمبر تعالي فاطمة 400 500 Okay, they're gonna choose science. Science, okay. Science 400. This one. Read it, Ali. Ali, for Fatima, Ali. Because he, he uh, gobbled his name. Gobbled Isa. اميغو قبل عيسى فاطمه جمعه مو فاطمه وصفي ليش يا بلا اتاكد عادل حبيبي <تصفيق> يلا ماكو مشكله فاطمه جاوبت هسه فاطمه وصفي ماكو مشكله يلا علي لا لا تمشي بعد خلص التعليق صي على استو علي ابني هم على استو كلهم كلهم جيبوهم كلهم جيبوهم هسه خلي سالهم كلهم علي موف اون تو ذا نيكست بيرسون احيانا هذا ينفتح بعد اللي ما اللي ما هذا يمكن يا بتقول لك هاي سبانش اه فتحت انت ما تجاوز عيني اقرا السؤال يا علي ابو صادق جاوبت صح عليه اه منو من اللي جاوب لجيل ولا فاطمه؟ فاطمه قدام فاطمه 5 دولارات اوكي وين علي؟ سمعتي؟ تعال ومصطفى ابو امنه تنطيها 5 دولارات وبعدين نعطيك اياهم ايوه وين الخمس دولارات ما راح تقبل بها خليتها تمشي 
اعطيها 10 من جيبك قصي حجي قصي ابو حسن حسن عزيز السلام عليكم حسن علاوي يلا اسال حجي علي يلا بسرعه الوقت يركض اراوند ذا وورلد 500 علي اراوند ذا وورلد 500 هذا من هوز توكينج علي 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 حسن علي قصي يو سكيبت ا كابل بيبل علي قصي يلا ويلا يو جو ان وات كونتري از ذا يانغ سي ريفر فاوند I will let you have it. Yang Zi. Yang Zi. China? Ahsan. 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 عليكم السلام يلا علي جو 500 which one you want حسن السلام um can i can i do science and beyond 500 يلا do male or female mosquitoes bite people yes no which one oh which one um it's i know the way it's the مو انت شوف شلون كاتب السؤال علي <laughs> Why do male or female mosquitoes bite people? Yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, but well, both all of them do. Pick one, Hassan. It's either oh, male. Hassan, or pick one, yellow female. Which uh, Hassan? Which one harder? Yeah, which one bites harder? <laughs> <laughs> female. Oh no no no! Oh, oh yes yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Mabruk Hassan. Abu Kemek. Abu Kemek Hassan. Ella. لا اوكي اللي يمك من اللي يمك من الكبار قول له خليني اعطيك 5 دولارات بعدين نوصل هي لا اي سند للام واي ام شكرا عمو شنو؟ للام واي ام اوكي يلا نور جمعه از نور جمعه ذير؟ يس Salam alaikum. How's it going? No. Salam, Noor. You're not. You have to put your camera. You have to put your camera on. Oh, in English or Arabic? Question. English. English. I only have a really. This one is a uh, hard. Yeah, you can get help from your dad and sister, okay? And your mom. You want Arabic? No. Uh oh. Okay. Okay, so this one says list five titles for Sayyida Fatima alayhi salam. So, so her other names, what do they call Sayyida Fatima? Zahra. Yeah, that's one. You need four more. Hawda. Okay, that's two. Kawthar. That's three. Pitun. Yeah, that's four. One more. Umma Abiha. Umma Abiha. Good. good. MashaAllah. Mabrooks. No. Shatra. That was really good. Great Thank job. Thank you. You're welcome. Last one. Arabic. Who's won it? Who wants it? We'll give it to Hamida Tabarak and Zahra because they put their name. Do they want it? Okay. To... Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Yalla. Are they there? Yes, I am. Wa alaykum assalam wa rahmatullah. It's in Arabic, but you get to answer it. Arabic, I'm going to ask it Arabic. When did the launch of Twitter? 2016, 2006, 1996? 2006, 2006. 2006? Yeah, right. MashaAllah, mabrook. Who? I'm going to have you with me. Hamida Tabarak, Fatma Layal. كل واحدة دولارين. حميدة تبارك مبروك حميدة تبارك قولي لأمك خلنا تنطيك خمس دولارات. اوكي خلصنا الأسئلة شكرا مشكورين يعطيكم العافية شكرا علي بارك الله فيك. Sorry we couldn't get to everyone. Why did not حطوا أساميهم؟ 
بس ما قدرنا بعد الاسئله خلصت ان شاء الله المره الجايه مشكورين على مشاركتكم و... و... وان شاء الله اهم شيء احنا ندخل السعاده بقلوبكم انتم واولادكم وان شاء الله علي طف الاسم هاي اقول بس لازم نسال سؤال حق كوميل لانه دزالي وايد هذا خلي بس اسال سؤال حق كوميل كوميل سؤال خلصت الاسئله ها عندك سؤال خلي اساله وين كوميل Oh, he's saying he doesn't want to go. Because I... Come in, you want to go or you don't? Allah, he doesn't want to go. Yalla. And to ask him the question, see if he answers. Okay, if he answer, he can't chat. Well, he's answering all the other questions. So, yeah, and he, gives, he wants to go. But la, khalas, if he doesn't... Yeah, I guess he just doesn't want to go. Okay, come on, mashallah, all of you. Ibn Sayyid Saleh. <تصفيق> اوكي شكرا مشكورين علي ش... محمد عندنا بعد فقره؟ لا خلصنا محمد سماك أه لا الحمد لله everything's good we're done احسنت أه عاشت ايدكم مشكورين ثانك يو سو ماتش جايز حقيقه يعني انتم احنا نحاول نفرحكم بس انتم فرحتونا لان اشتراككم وشيء مفرح حقيقه وهذا برنامج ان شاء الله ناجح ويا الشباب وتجربه ناجحه وان شاء الله نستمر بالعمل مع بعض لخدمه الجميع وخدمه الجاليه وخدمه الشباب نشكركم مره ثانيه على حضوركم. ابو صادق لا تنسى الالف مال ابو ماجد لا تنسى. يرحم الله والديك هذا منو هذا ورده هذا؟